<laughs> Before we start, I hope you can hear me at the back. Yeah. yeah it's a wave. <laughs> um, just to let you know, I'm really the warm-up man for the next two uh, speakers, so um, I'm sure they'll keep you in the Where are the um, I'm not sure what their speeches are going to be like, whether it's the clean or the, uh, the blue version, so I brought along a, a little square box, just uh, in case, uh, we never know, we never know. We're going to put... <laughs> okay, for those of you who don't know, I'm Barry, I'm father of our beautiful bride sitting beside me. On behalf of my wife, Kath, we welcome you all to the wedding of Emily and Dan. A few people have uh, travelled some distance to be here, so thanks to Chris, Rob and Ross, who've come over from Germany. <laughs> and also to my family, my mum, brother and sister, who probably had an even harder journey to get here, because <laughs> they've come all the way from deep to Suffolk, <laughs> and the roads aren't too good up there, are they? <laughs> anyway, I would also like to thank Emily for choosing the horse and carriage to get here to the golf up today. I enjoyed it very much. But, to be honest, I was hoping to be sitting in the back of a vintage Rolls Royce or something, but instead I had to sit behind uh, two horses looking at their rear end for half an hour. <laughs> so, um... Did that have their nappies on? Yeah. <laughs> no. Didn't smell like it, no. <laughs> but then Emily always did like to be different. I do remember... <laughs> Time she went to a worst Christmas party at the O2 Arena. <laughs> and she got so drunk that she couldn't walk. And she had to be taken out of the venue in a wheelchair. <laughs> when I started to uh, think about what to say in my speech, um, as usual, turned to the internet get some ideas, and one of the main things that came up was to keep it fairly brief, which suited me just fine, <laughs> uh, mainly because uh, we were hoping to get another game of golf in before it gets too dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, it also said, try not to get too sentimental, but I couldn't help remembering when Emily was born, how proud that I felt when I first picked her up. And now, 24 years later, as I walked her down the aisle, I'm even prouder that she's made me feel today. Anyhow, <laughs> I believe it's traditional to say a few words about my new son-in-law, Daniel. <laughs> when uh, Emily started seeing Dan, I remember the first time he came and picked her up. We looked outside the house. <laughs> we looked outside the house and there was a car. Not just any car. <laughs> with a bright orange BMW. <laughs> well, I thought, this lad could be a bit special. <laughs> Needs perhaps. But anyway, things have moved on. A few years down the line. Here we all are. And now with a lovely grandson to be proud of as well. <laughs> I would like to give Dan some advice that I've learned through my 20 odd years to cast. 26. Oh. Oh. 26. Have a drink quick. <laughs> and that is whenever you and Emily have a bit of an argument or a disagreement, 
always make sure that you have the last word. <laughs> and the way I've always done this is to simply say, OK, buy it then. <laughs> <laughs>
stunning for my day. <laughs> <laughs> two very important people here today, without whom very of this would have been possible. <coughs> and the great thing is that as the evening progresses, most of us will get to spend more and more time talking to them. <laughs> so please join me in a special toast to the bar staff. Thank <laughs> you. 